All right, guys, it's Dr. Ryan, and today we're going to talk with uh, a patient of mine who's been a patient for, oh, about two years or so, Tony, yeah. and she's going to talk a little bit about her experience with the clinic. So, Tony, why don't you go ahead and tell me a little bit about yourself, what you like to do, your hobbies, your family situation. Sure. Uh, married, uh, all the kids are going out of the house. I'm a business owner and uh, work a lot of hours and we just celebrated 25 years in business and I've been a part of it for 20 years. So it's been a pretty exciting ride. Hobbies, fun things, I love movies, I love going out to the beach and uh, hanging out with my husband and having a good time with him. So it's a little bit about what I do. Cool. Okay. Well, so let's talk a little bit about your experience prior to join the clinic. So I want you to go back just about two years ago and think about what it was like before you started with us. What were some of the problems that you were trying to solve? And I'm thinking primarily in terms of your physique and your overall health. Okay. Um, so the big thing is, is I always wanted to get my weight down and I wanted to be strong and flexible. I'd love to look like a bodybuilder, but we all know that's not gonna happen. But I was, I wanted to get there. And so um, that, that was what I was wanting to physically to get there. And so I tried some different things and it wasn't working out very well for me there. What were some of the things that you tried that, that may have given you a little bit of success, but didn't work for you long-term? Just different workouts. I changed my foods to primarily protein, very, very low carb or no carb. And so I, I would see some success. I, as a matter of fact, I lost some weight and I was feeling all right, but it was not the same as where I am now. And I didn't understand the differences. I still felt like I looked heavy, even though my weight was down, if that makes any sense. So the shape of the way the body was shaping wasn't as what I was desiring, I guess would be my best way to say it. Yeah, body recomposition is really key. And sometimes it's not just the weight, as you mentioned, it's the it's the way in which the weights distributed on your body and your muscle mass and your fat mass. So very, very good point. Mm -hmm. And I do want to ask you another question. So you did talk about some of the challenges you had in terms of your health and, and your physique, but how did those problems manifest themselves in terms of your career and your family and your colleagues and your relationships and that sort of aspect? Sure. It affected me and that I had, you know, was tired, had low energy, you know, just working again, a lot of hours trying to mm -hmm. troubleshoot a lot of things yeah, in the business. Right. And I was having a hard time processing everything. And so, you know, I would try these different things thinking it was going to help myself and it wasn't. So that just equaled more frustration that you felt like there was effort towards something. You were trying to be, a, you know, a good girl in my case, and it wasn't very successful. So that just kind of made more frustration. So, you know, it does take a toll on the relationship. Your attitude isn't always great. You don't feel great, you know, go to the annual doctor visits and they're talking about losing weight and you've got a this and, and that, and you're thinking in your head, I'm trying, I'm, it's not like I'm I'm not, and I think the big thing for me is I was deceived as to how much I was eating and thinking that what I was eating was relatively okay and my portions were okay. And so I was frustrated on two sides, thinking I was doing a good thing and it's still, I had no really no results. And so kept being told it's get better. <laughs> I couldn't get better, so. Yeah, I can see how it can be super frustrating to have like a healthcare provider tell you, hey, you have to make some changes, but don't have like a sustainable pathway forward or an effective pathway forward to, to help you actually make the changes, right? So it's, okay. it's uh, I can definitely see how that could be difficult for you. And the, the reality is you kind of were in the situation for probably several months, maybe in years. Was there like an inciting event that made you say, okay, enough's enough. I need to think of something else. I need to do something completely different from, from what I've done in the past. You know, if I can be candid and honest, uh, I just, I got sick of hearing myself. <laughs> I literally just got sick of the story. And frankly, the excuses and the cop-outs and you know, an employee would quit. I have to pick up their workload. It would throw my routine off. I wasn't eating well. I was tired. I'm doing double, triple, you know, quadruple duty because of that. And so then the excuse was I'm tired, so I can't walk on the treadmill or I can't do whatever it was I was attempting to do. And years back, I had a procedure to, you know, help myself lose a little bit of weight. And I went back in to just have a checkup on, on some things like five, six years later. And so I was like, hey, since I'm here, can you check it out? Like what else could maybe we do to 
just you know tune me up if you will and uh very kindly very politely the doctor looked at me and smiled and he says you know tanya it's visceral fat and i can't do anything with that and you have to do it and I stood there and in my head, it was kind of like a punch to the gut. You know, I was like, wow, you know, you got to do this. Like, this is your thing. And so between those two things, it really catapulted me to make this decision. I just, I had enough and all the things that I would say no to, you know, measuring food and just eating certain food, just everything that you would hear or think, I, I was like, I'm too busy for that. I don't have this. I don't have time. I can't, the capacity. I just, I said, it's enough. Whatever you tell me to do, I'm going to do it. I'm sick of it. I, I got to stop this. Other people do it. And and if he's, Dr. Ryan says he is what he is and Suma Up is what they say they are, then I'll see results. And I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it time and I'm going to be committed. And uh, it definitely was a mindset that that, in my opinion, had to happen first before anything else. As great as your team is, if I didn't make my mind up, I would have seen changes because I had already been with you guys for a year. My husband, you know, actually introduced me to you all. And um, I'd taken the medicine and the vitamins and all that. And it was fine. It was, you know, slight, slightly helpful, but I wasn't achieving the goals, you know. And so it just, when that mindset changed is when I took it serious and was committed and I just felt like that made all the difference in the world that it was it was kind of i burned all my ships and i just said i'm moving forward i don't we, i gotta make it work i have no other choice i can't be like everybody else it's kind of interesting and i i i totally agree with you you know no amount of of evidence pointing that a particular decision or pathway is the best for an individual is really going to change your mind until they internally realize it until they say hey you know what this makes sense i'm going to go down this pathway i'm going to make the changes and i'm going to go ahead and so can you describe like what what was the impetus for you to finally you know have that mindset change was it like what was there something around that was was it just I, you know you just you're like okay <laughs> you know, i think the, i the just final straws on my back but but, yeah, I think I just had a come to Jesus moment. If I may say it, I just, I had enough. I was sick of it. I don't know if anybody has ever experienced that, but you just, it's up to here and I'm done. Like I, I was so frustrated. I was so angry. I'm looking in the mirror and you know, I'm still, I'm, you know, I'm not my twenties, but I'm still relatively young and I'm, I'm about thought I was basically healthy, but you know, and I'm like, this is ridiculous. There's no reason why I can't make these things happen. I'm strong-willed. I'm smart. I have all these things going for me. Why am I not successful in this area? And so I just literally got tired of the excuses. And I'm like, you, no, you the only way you can fix it is to do it yourself. You've got to change this. You've already gone down the path of the doctor, if you will, the other doctor. And it helped a little, don't get me wrong, but it was not the answer. And I knew that at the time. So everyone knows it just was something that I wanted and had wanted for years. So I think it was just that innate thing that it was like, you know, it's if this is going to be done, it's got to be done by me. And I've got to make my mind up, um, even if at the time my husband's not involved, you know, my, you know, the rest, anybody around me was not involved. You no, know, nobody else was doing it. I was loved and supported. Don't get me wrong, but nobody else was like, Hey, let's do this together. It was like, I had to do it myself. I had to, I had to get, pull my own bootstraps up and make myself go forward. And so I just was tired of seeing what I saw in the mirror, you know, and I was tired of feeling the way I felt. And you know, here it was all these amazing things you guys are bringing to the table. And I felt like I wasn't experiencing the full thing that I should be. So I, I said, I got to change it and I'm willing and I'm going to try. And um, I didn't try. I did it. I did. I did. do. Yeah. It. And yeah. And, and I, I just want to mention that not only did you make the change, you know, internally and you, and you set your mind to it, but you actually went, went, went through with everything. And speaking of some of those changes you noticed, why don't we describe some of those specifically in, uh, in terms of your physique and your overall health? And before we get into that, mm -hmm. I just want to take this, uh, take a minute to kind of brag on your progress here. <laughs> sure. uh, so one thing that you had been a little bit concerned about when you joined the clinic was your lipid panel. Now your total cholesterol wasn't, wasn't terrible. It was a, li a little bit on the higher side. And so was your LDL. But after you made the effort to really focus on the diet and exercise regimen, optimize your supplement regimen, optimize your hormone regimen. It was just remarkable to see the change. Like your total cholesterol dropped almost uh, 40 points, your LDL dropped 30 points. And it's just, you know, no statins, just diet, exercise, supplementation, hormonal optimization. And you have the lipid panel of 
well of a of a 20 year old right which is really amazing <laughs> or a healthy 20 year old look though. at 20 it's the <laughs> <Yeah>. new 20 <laughs> yeah exactly exactly <laughs> and then i think what's really awesome is looking at the the weight loss that you've had i mean it started about 160 you lost almost 30 pounds yeah. uh when you finally made the decision and you really pushed yourself and uh, the proof is always in the picture is really and you can kind of see where you were when you started yep. versus where you are today you know lean fit energetic it's just it's just remarkable so i'm really proud of you uh tony that's just that's just super awesome what you were able to to accomplish so we talked a little bit about and actually demonstrated some of the changes you saw in your in your physique and health but how did those changes manifest in terms of your business your career i go back to the mindset you know everything starts in the mind literally and so uh, when this happened and i saw that i could have success here and i carved out the time and was able to see results then i said you know there's other things that i need to to do and i need to change and so two big ones is i've had some certifications i've been wanting to get mm -hmm. in our industry and um, January I made my mind up to do that and not only did I keep the workout going but I studied and I passed not one but two certifications wow. uh, national certifications and uh, so it, it's like if I can be successful here I can be successful there and so that was very exciting which in result brings more to the business I made I'm more educated I'm able to answer questions and help my team and train and coach and all those types of things I think the, the bigger that was a huge win but I think a really big win is there's always been a consistent HR challenge I'm sure everybody in the world is aware of that one and so now where I used to I guess really in essence to shut down mentally just shut down and, and maybe come home and have a glass of wine and just you know complain now it's like you know what no i'm not going to do that yep it's i'm tired and yeah it's been a tough day i'm not going to do that i do something try to be healthy for myself i'm certainly not perfect don't get me wrong but i try to do something healthy and when i'm in the moment and i'm in, in the business and those particular situations are happening i see that i'm a little bit more in control of my mindset my responses my emotions not always, but mostly I'm getting better every day, but I do, I do think that that comes back to discipline. And so that that's kind of been my mantra mantra is discipline. I need to be disciplined and uh, in my mind, in my body, in my actions, because it benefits everybody. You know, I, my, my body, my me is not just for me. It's for my husband. It's for my family. It's for my team. And in order for me to do the things that I do, I have to stay healthy. And, you know, just, I want to pop back over to the first first question you asked, you know, the other part of this whole thing when I decided this is I realized that if I don't take time for me to make me healthy, nobody's going to do it. There's nobody that can fix that. Nobody can make me eat or drink the water or do the treadmill or do the weights or do any of that. And if I get sick or if I get hurt, my team is relying on me and my family is relying on me to do the things that I do. So I think when I had that realization that, you know what, I'm not too busy because this is actually what I have to do in order to do the things I do. And so I, I made such a, um, when I had that recognition of what was going on, it really blew my mind. As a matter of fact, this morning, this is so minor, but goofy, but I just have to share it because it, it really affects this conversation is, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm on the treadmill and I'm working out and I'm doing my thing. And I realized something that I had done subconsciously. So I wear contacts and I wear glasses. Okay. And so in the past, when you say, what did I do before Suma up? You know, when I would work out, I would just wear my glasses to go work out. Right. Cause I'm rolling out of bed, throwing some stuff on, like, let's try to make this one happen, try to fit it in, yada, yada. And I noticed, I said, you know, I have my contacts in and I'm thinking, you know, I've been putting my contacts in before I work out. And I, and I'm like, it's an it, it epiphany. It was like, you know what? It's because you're taking this serious. It's because it's a routine. You're up, you're ready. This is part of your day. It's your regimen. And so therefore, you know, when I wear my contacts, I'm ready for my day. I'm, I'm sad. So I know it sounds silly and goofy, but it's those little minor things that you set yourself up for success by that stuff. And I, I, I think some people really downplay those kinds of things, you know, when, when you're ready, but it was just funny. It took me, you know, how many months to recognize something like that, 
but it's a it's a routine yeah, it is yeah. me this is what i want to be yeah, for yeah. the rest of my life i i told you that from the beginning and i mean that and i i want to stay with this you know so even when i fall down i still get back up <laughs> yes metaphorically small hinges swing big doors like the habit creation you're creating it, just as simple as you know putting your context in in preparation for the fact that you're going to be training and you don't want your glasses to get fogged up right. fogged up is a big deal and yeah. when you add those all, when you chain those small habits together and you do them consistently for several days, you can, uh, you know, essentially swing big doors, make big changes, which you have done, which I think is just absolutely wonderful. <laughs> now, you talked a little bit about, you kind of alluded to this, but let's talk a little more about how this aspect of your life changed. You mentioned that your your family relationship, your, in particular with your husband, but your family was, was quite supportive. But did you notice the change in terms of how you interact with them after you had made the changes to the clinic, after you optimized your hormones, taking the supplement regimen, started exercise, started dieting appropriately? Did you see a change in uh, your interactions, say, with your husband, children, colleagues? Sure. Um, so the, the, big, the big win is, you know, internally, I felt better about myself. Mm -hmm. So externally, everybody got to see it, you know, because mm -hmm. my attitude was there and I'm happy and, you know, I'm joking and flirting and having fun and feeling good and feeling sexy and, you know, all those things. All of a sudden now it's like, oh, she's not a monster. <laughs> she, she can be nice and fun and the little social butterfly I once knew, you know, so it really just got me back to what I used to be when I was younger before all the stresses. And, you know, you just don't recognize how that stuff over years actually really compress and it really changes things. So that's why I was excited because this truly is an inside out transformation, you know, and that that's that's amazing. So it lightens the load it makes the conversations better uh, you know it's always wonderful to, to hang out with my husband and have more time and you know just get along and just you know just enjoy it and i i do see that better in my family you know they just happy to see me smiling and you know feeling good and you know even though they're still stressed us from the business and all that sort of thing i'm feeling good and they they can see that and it really that it just it makes all the difference in the world because you feel like you can you can do anything my, my husband always jokes that, you know, I go put my little red helmet on. I don't know if you've seen that mouse with the red helmet and he's yeah. trying to get the cheese in the trap. And that's what he calls me. He's like, go get your red helmet when you're going to go do <laughs> something. I'm like, yes, baby, I'm going to get it because I'm going to have it. That's the way it rolls. <laughs> you know? Right. And you know what? I mean, it's just that yeah. idea of building up your self-esteem, building up your self-confidence and, and recognizing what you put out there oftentimes is re reflected out back to you. Now, it's really hard for me to imagine you as a monster in any form because I've always known she's a very sweet, kind uh, lady. But, but you know, perhaps you were irritated in, in, some, in some regards, you know, prior. But, you know, the fact that now that you are able to better deal with the stresses and maybe take a more understanding approach and, and just understand, you know, hey, sometimes the only thing constant in business is change, right? And more importantly, have the energy to deal with all the change is, is really 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 great yes okay well we talked a little bit about your physique changes your health changes some some of the improvements in your in your in your business and career or well the way in which you approach your business and career your relationships were there any other benefits that you noted that came from working with Suma? the relationship the rapport building and the encouragement mm -hmm. just sometimes knowing that somebody's there Mm -hmm. and can help and you can message anytime the text feature i think was really awesome mm -hmm. that you know there's a, we're all working different crazy hours and sleeping different times and so it was nice to be able to just message not feel like i was interrupting and i knew that at some point i would get a response and so uh that that was a great support you know if i questioned about a food or if i you know was mm -hmm. unsure about different things you know sometimes people say one thing and do another and i feel like your team and yourself specifically have not done that at all you all have always followed up and done what you said you would do and uh in any way you can to ensure that it would it would work and um so that that was you know i wasn't sure what to expect you know because you know you just don't know until you do and so it was a refreshing surprise to have that and see the follow through and um it's motivating because you know those days that you have tough you know, tough times, you, you know, you're tired, you're whatever those things are, you know, because you still have it, it doesn't go away. Um, I think about, oh, I'm going to get that text on Saturday. <laughs> I better I better have something to say back, you know. <laughs> and there's been a couple of times, I'm, you know, I'm like being called out. I'm like sitting, I'm feeling it. I'm like, 
this is purpose to, to help you. They just want to help you. And that's exactly what it does. So it serves its purpose. And it just goes back, you know, I could internalize that and take it one way or another. And at the end of the day, you guys, I brought you on to help me and you have done nothing but help me above and beyond what I have expected. And just, you know, feel very trustworthy oh, that you answer those questions. You go get the research, you'll do whatever it is. And that's this that's hard to find that. And it's, you know, and I know it's truth because I see the results, you know, I see those things happen. So it's very nice to know that I can flex and bend and you guys will work, you know, work with me where I'm at. You know, it's like I said, something about rearranging my, my workout. And I said, Hey, by the way, at the end, I was like, Hey, can we, can we please keep it to an hour? Cause I'm, I'm really, Hey, it's your program. This is, I'm here for you. And I'm like, yeah, you're, yeah, it's, <laughs> it should be 15 minutes. No, I'm just kidding. But, but with that being said, you know, it was just nice and refreshing that it was reminded, hey, I'm actually kind of driving this and you guys are guiding me. And so that, you know, that guiding position empowers me to be who I can and to be the best I can because I don't feel this undue pressure, if you will. Uh, yes, there is a lot of accountability and you have to decide if you're willing for that. I, I will tell anybody, you got to think about that before you do this because you're wasting your time and, and you're wasting Dr. Ryan's time you know if, if you don't but once you make your mind up like when I got to that space I made my mind up then it was it was game on because I was committed it didn't matter what now even though when I get this I might not respond quickly yeah but I do respond and I'm grateful and it's it does push in a positive and a good way to to get me to where I need to go because that's what you guys are there for yeah I think to be honest I mean I, I told obviously I, I agree with you uh I I think it's one thing to have a plan of action, to have someone say, okay, well, Tony, this is what we're going to do in terms of supplements, meds, here's your diet plan, here's your exercise plan. But it's really just having someone there who's a, who you hold yourself accountable to yeah. that can be like, hey, okay, I did what I'm supposed to do. I put in my weights, I put the pictures in, I'm doing the workouts, right? Or someone there that is supportive and helpful and, and you know, is interested in, in helping you solve problems, right? I mean, at the end of the day, when you when you look for a solution to your to your issues, you wanna you wanna find a product or service or whatever that is catered around you, right? Catered around your problems. I mean, you you certainly wouldn't purchase a you know a solution or a widget that didn't solve the problem. But you know, unfortunately, there are a lot of them out there that's like, hey, well, we think you have this issue, and we're gonna we're gonna focus our product around it. At Sumo Up, I just recognize the number one thing is the patient right and understanding what your personal is, uh, concerns or what your personal issues are and then t targeting and tailoring your your program around it so i'm glad that you recognize that yes and it's appreciated because then you feel like you're heard and i think a lot of times we don't feel heard anymore <laughs> so yeah. when you get heard and you get decisions and process to help you overcome those obstacles that it makes all the difference in the world it makes you want to do it better more you know great okay well in closing what would you tell someone who's watching this video is uncertain about joining the clinic what would you tell that person sure um it is a decision you do definitely need to make your mind up and be ready to make a commitment be accountable uh, make those decisions it's not easy but it's not hard either mm -hmm. and it's okay when you have some mess ups or you miss a meal or you miss a workout you know, I think that part is is something that, you know, it's really nice to see how Sumo Up helps you and guides you and gets you to that next level. And even if the weight bounces up and down, they're still there supporting you and encouraging you because it truly is a journey. This isn't an overnight situation. This isn't pop a pill and we're all okay. This is actually changing a lifestyle, but uh, they, they really do care. They set everything in place and they help in any way. And I'm very grateful for that. So I think you two will enjoy that, but the mindset's got to come first. Otherwise it won't, it won't feel fun or comfortable. It's fun and comfortable when you've decided this is the way you want to go and you're, you're ready and willing. Cause now it's like a scorecard, you know, especially if you're competitive, you'll, <laughs> you'll really love the scorecard part. So, but they're, they're awesome. I highly recommend them uh, to anyone and you just have to be ready to go and they'll be ready when you're ready. Thank you for that wonderful answer. And I agree, change does begin within, but we'll help you. We'll get you to the point where that internal change that you've made, we can help manifest it externally and really support you in that, in that process. Well, great. 
Well, Tony, I really, I really appreciate you talking a little bit about your experience with Suma Up and I uh, want you to thank you for the very great video. Absolutely. Thank you guys for all that you do. We appreciate you very much. <laughs>